I don't know how this lighting became so common on YouTube, but it needs to stop. Let's talk about how to fix it. Hey guys, I'm Raphael and welcome to the channel where our goal is to always fix it in camera and then finesse it in post. And I always appreciate the early thumbs up because we love great lighting and because you're awesome. This high contrast lighting is very popular on YouTube. And when it's done right, with the right context, it looks really good. It adds depth to the face and sets the perfect mood. But lately I've seen many pushing it to the extreme and it doesn't suit the videos that they're making. And I've seen tutorials that show that's how the pros do it. No, no it's not. Full disclosure, there is no right way to do it, but there is a place and time for this kind of lighting. But not for every video and not for every person. People have different shapes of faces and it doesn't work as a one-stop shop for everything. And it doesn't always look that good. First off, let's define what this lighting is. It's high contrast lighting using the short lighting technique where the light is placed at a 45 degree angle from the camera. This works really well when doing interview style setups where the subject is looking in the direction of the light and the light is on the short side of the face and the camera is capturing from the shadow side. Doing it this way creates depth, but it really shows almost the full face nicely. The big issue arises when the contrast is too high and you are facing the camera and the shadows become really intense and start to shadow out the eyes. This starts to look like split lighting with a high contrast ratio. That's the contrast from one side to the other, bright on one side, dark on the other. And the difference between the two is the ratio. If this is pushed too far, the shadow side, if there's no backlight, it blends into the background. And it just starts to look bad unless you're making a horror movie. This is where the phrase add separation from the background really becomes important. Where the subject ends and the background begins. That's where rim lights and back lights come into play, but I'll save that for another video. I won't go too far into the technical details, but I will talk about what it communicates to your viewer. Lighting is used to set a mood. This kind of super high contrast lighting communicates drama and mystery. It can communicate that the character has two sides to them. They have a shady side, a dark side, something to hide. This is usually used for villains. Think of any movie that you've watched recently and take notice of how they use the lighting. And it's pushed even further with split lighting or overhead lighting to make it hard to see the eyes, to see what the intentions are of that character. And it's frequently used in somber moments or when the character has internal struggles. So if you're talking about pleasant topics or making positive reviews of things, intentional or not, you are sending subconscious signals to your viewer. This is why most new shows and talk shows use flat lighting. The face is bright from all angles, almost no shadows. There's a reason for this. It's pleasant and it's inviting. Subconsciously, they want to appear like they don't have anything to hide. Their face is open for all to see. They want you to trust what they say. Let me be very clear again. There is no wrong way to how you light your videos, but are you doing it with purpose? Why is your lighting the way it is? What are you trying to convey to the viewer? If your topic is dramatic and serious, then the high contrast will fit a lot better. If you're doing a lighthearted, fun talk, then not really. But know why you're doing it, not just because you saw one tutorial on how to light for YouTube. Here's how to think about your lighting that better fits your intended mood. First, determine the overall emotional tone of the video. Happy, sad, pessimistic, optimistic, then research lighting that helps communicate that. Low contrast lighting is more positive and optimistic and inviting. Think comedies, coming of age stories, baby and wedding photos. High contrast is definitely moodier. Think Blade Runner or a murder mystery, the villain in most movies. Don't just do it because it looks cool. It's like swearing because it sounds cool. Here's how to simply fix the overly high contrast lighting and you don't even need extra lights. Again, these are general considerations, but tweak until you are happy with it. Balance the lighting of the entire scene. Make the background just a bit darker than the foreground. You want the most important thing in the frame to be the brightest and most in focus. You are directing the audience where to look. If there's still too much shadow around the eyes, physically lower the lights a bit or move it closer to the camera. Diffuse the light if it isn't already. Soft, diffuse light is more pleasant on the face than hard light. Add a bounce on the shadow side, move it closer or further away to achieve the desired effect. You can use a bounce, even something as simple as foam core or cardboard from your local craft shop or art supply center. Anything to bounce light back to the subject. 
the contrast from one side to the other shouldn't be too drastic. Let your audience see the details in the face. Let them see the eyes. Make it inviting. Or if you try paramount lighting or butterfly lighting, add a bounce below to lighten up the shadows under the chins and eyes. Play around with your lighting. I know I have. Experiment with the key light placements, adding backlights, find what works best for your videos and what you're trying to communicate. I'm just scratching the surface with how lighting can affect what you are subconsciously communicating to your audience. And sometimes subtlety is the key. Understand your message and it will help you understand how to light it. Have you guys seen these types of high contrast videos? What do you think? Is it overused? Is it used well? Let me know what you guys think. Also, what setups and solutions do you guys use to light your video? As always, thanks for watching. Give me a big thumbs up, subscribe. I'm Raphael, I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.